Jimmy Roberts, the tackler, another charge down, but will go. I think George North has taken a, a boot to the head there. Hello, my name is Tika Tuchar. I'm studying biomedical engineering in Trinity College Dublin. Concussion is an alteration in brain function due to a direct or indirect biomechanical force. Its symptoms vary widely, but the most common symptoms are headache and dizziness. On the contrary of general opinion, loss of consciousness is observed only in 10% of cases. Currently, there are no clinical tools for concussion diagnosis. Concussion has a high incidence in high contact and collision sports, such as rugby, American football, and boxing. It is estimated that 1.6 to 3.8 million sports-related concussions occur each year in US, and it is also known that concussions are underreported. Repetitive head traumas may have very serious consequences in long term, such as dementia, chronic depression, and early onset Alzheimer's disease. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a neurodegenerative condition associated with repetitive concussions. CT has behavioral, cognitive and motor symptoms. CT can currently be diagnosed only with post-mortem examination. Hallmarks of CT include gross anatomical changes such as enlarged ventricles and atrophy and neurotoxic phosphorylated tau protein accumulation around blood vessels. Perivascular phosphorylated tau protein accumulation indicates blood-brain barrier defects in these regions. However, molecular mechanisms involved in blood-brain barrier defects and tau protein accumulation are currently unknown. In vitro primary cell culture models consist of homogeneous cell population. Therefore, they lack the structural architecture of the brain and interaction between different cell types. In vivo models allow the examination of the whole brain, but molecular events at very early time points after an impact cannot be observed. Organotypic slice cultures preserve the structure of the brain and contain all cell types in the brain. In membrane interface method, brain slices with several hundred micrometer thickness can be kept in culture in an interface between air and medium. We observe that they maintain their vasculature after culturing. In this model, I induce mechanical injuries and some of the biochemical changes that occur after a concussion, oxidative stress and excitatory amino acid toxicity. Afterwards, protein, RNA and immunohistochemistry analysis are performed in order to see the effects of these on blood-brain barrier and tau protein. Better understanding of molecular mechanisms underlying concussion may lead to identification of diagnostic biomarkers or eventually treatments for concussion and CTE.